Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Ensuring the Built Environment. Today we're answering the question, should you choose the solar ITC or the solar PTC in maximizing the financial value of the solar project that you're building here in the US? Well, after 2005, up until very recently, uh, solar developers and tax equity investors really only had one option for maximizing the financial value of their solar projects. They had the Solar Investment Tax Credit, or the ITC. And the ITC, which is currently valued at 30%, is a uh, tax credit which gives you a dollar for dollar credit based on the 30% of the value of the solar system that you're building. So the cost of the panels, the inverters, the infrastructure, the labor, the permitting, everything that would go into the cost of that system up front, the uh, developer or the uh, builder or the, the tax equity investor would take that 30% in the year in which the project was built and goes into service. And so that's a very valuable tax credit. It's, since 2005, it's resulted in a huge amount of new solar coming online, and it's really helped out to build out the amount of solar here in the US. But now with the uh, recent passage of the, Infl the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, the IRA, now solar developers and tax equity investors have a second option, which is the solar PTC or the production tax credit. And unlike the ITC, the production tax credit is a tax credit that's given over a 10 year period based on the production uh, in terms of kilowatt hours that that system produces. So currently the value of the tax credit is 2.6 cents according to uh, where we are when I'm recording this video. So 2.6 cents per kilowatt hour over the 10 years based on the value or the amount of energy that that system produces in kilowatt hours. And so which one should you choose? Well, uh, a company called Cone Resnick, a nice renewable energy practice, uh, did some analysis and I'll, below this video, I'll link to it and some other resources that you can use to choose. Uh, but they did a nice analysis which showed the break even point for choosing whether you wanna go with the ITC or the PTC. And the factors that really go into it, are obviously personal ones based on when you need to take advantage of the tax credits, but what it comes down to is the upfront cost per watt of the system and the capacity factor of that system over time. And so for larger projects like utility scale projects where the cost per watt may be, you know, a dollar per watt and the capacity factor may be much higher, then you're probably going to choose the PTC. Whereas with a project that has a higher upfront cost per watt, maybe $3 per watt and a lower capacity factor, uh, the you may choose the ITC because the uh, value of that system uh, will be higher up front and it may make sense for you to do that. Now, it will also make, ultimately come down to what your choices are in terms of maximizing the tax value for you and your, uh, your project, your business, your partners. Uh, but that's kind of it in a nutshell. And again, I'll link to the analysis that Cohn Resnick did, but it's a really nice way to kind of visualize how you would choose. And it's really gonna come down to the cost of the system upfront per watt and the capacity factor or how, how much energy that system is producing over time. So that's it. Really, if you have questions about uh, a pr insurance program for a large commercial solar project or wind or green uh, hydrogen project that you're building, please feel free to reach out to me or go to robfreeman.com for more information. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, look forward to talking to you and have a great day.